Welcome to a live stream from the Florida RV Super Show. My name is Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Go small, live large. Already seen a couple of van, van life friends here at the show saying hi, watching the videos. I was actually leaving the show until I saw this rig and I decided I had to stop and show you this. When's the last time you saw a dry bath in a Class B RV? Yeah, it's been a long time. And the last time I saw one, it was not a great execution. What I want to show you this is a product by Coach House on the largest Sprinter Mercedes. You are going to die. And if you've been waiting for a van that has a separate bath or a separate toilet and shower, you don't want to miss a single minute of this. Let me spin the camera around and let's get inside. Yeah, by Coach House. I think they're made in Florida. Hi, YouTube Live, you want to say hi? No. <laughs> so it has a TV on the outside, which is pretty cool. Easy in, handle here, which is really unusual. Normally it's in here, so this is really smart. Uh, bug screen, which is cool. Bug screen here, really cool. Look at this front lounge area. This is fantastic. The build quality is, I would say, A, a plus. Uh, this is a, a, a systems closet, but uh, this folds down, so you can have a big work surface here, which is just stunning. Again, build quality is pleasure weight, Plus, maybe? I don't know. Uh, a little bit of storage. The best is in the back. Yeah, you don't want to miss that. Uh, just a beautiful color scheme. Radial uh, cabinets here, so it has a rounded corner, beveled edge. Some more system controls here. I'm going to show you the price on the, when we get outside. Sink, I would say appropriately sized. So many sinks in these vans are just too big for the actual space. Nice faucet, pull out, pretty groovy that to fit. Propane on board. We sell the Truma, so that usually indicates propane on board. It's the same cooktop I have. Storage down below. Cabinet. You can see that. Nice. And then cabinet. Oh, drawer, really. Again, really well done. Just love the color scheme. Now, I will say this is a, a marine grade woven a vinyl floor and because it had about a million people through here it is showing some dirt but I think if you're personally camping in it you're not going to have this problem. Rounding out the galley we have a convection microwave which is super nice. This is the Nova Cool refrigerator. Humongous! Humongous! And the freezer down here is, you guessed it, humongous! I mean, it's really, really big. And it's just so nice to have the fridge off the floor. Microwave at an easy standing, unless you're on the shorter side. Really nicely uh, well placed. Again, if you're looking at the Grand Canyon or the Everglades, something like that, maybe your neighbor's lawn, because you're boondocking in their garage or their driveway, this would be your view. Again, this slides out like this. Spring loaded. Uh, looking back, here's a really smart move here, a counter extension. Not super big, but has to clear the cushion here. And again, just really smart use of it. Just a few extra inches. So if you're using the sink, you're using the cooktop, this is what you have to work with. Really smart, good job, Coach House. Here's their systems up here. We're gonna put the description uh, and information uh, down below. This is doing YouTube Live, so it's hard to do that kind of on the fly. Storage, beautiful. Storage, storage. You guessed it, more storage. It's just a beautiful color scheme. And a little bit more control panels right here. So these are twin beds. Uh, let's see if they come together to make a huge bed. No, nope, it looks like they are actually, so twin beds is what you get. You can move these cushions around at night, but they are certainly on the long side. Let's close all the cabinetry. Give me a thumb up if you are having a good time with these YouTube lives from the Florida RV Super Show. I'm actually departing the show shortly after this. Huge windows. Um, these do not open. That one doesn't anyway. This one does. Right there, you see that? Yeah, oh yeah. So a little cross ventilation, let's check. Yep, cross ventilation, this window doesn't cut, but it has the privacy shades. So it doesn't need a bug shade for that one, but it's got the privacy shade. Love the execution of the balancing. This is actually really done. Beautiful hardware, reading lights, brushed nickel, a little bit of a shelf for glasses, water at night. 
air conditioner ducted air conditioning, which is super unusual. Oops, I just ran into the TV. There it is. Sticking down the aisle a little bit. Uh, I was walking backwards, my fault. Is that on a bracket? Yeah, so you can kind of move this into the middle and watch TV. Uh, I'm looking for sound. I'm not seeing it. Oh, there's a speaker there in the bathroom. That's interesting. Um, but just again, really nicely done. Ducted, that's super unusual in a van. Uh, brushed aluminum or nickel up here. Fan up here. This is on the Mercedes Sprinter. Again, the largest 3700, I think it is. The extended. But what's different about this is, and what most other builders do, is they add more cabinets. What these people have done is, I should have closed the door. In fact, I will. For the reveal. Are you ready for this? I keep hitting this TV. Beautiful. I would say marine grade quality. This is the bathroom. Toilet, wet flush, TP holder, residential style, quality, storage, storage, hand towel ring, what? Look at this sink. This thing is a masterpiece. Stainless steel, Corian. This is just a piece of artwork. Uh, and uh, you got a little bit, of, so if you're shaving or putting on your makeup, you got a little bit there. Um, but this is what you got to see for sure. Excuse me. No, it's okay. How about a full length mirror? When's the last time you saw that? Oh, in a Westphalia. Oh, yeah. Look at this. What do you think this is? I'll give you a peek. It's a shower. It's a shower separate from the toilet. And it's waterproof. No. Shower curtain necessary. Plastic diffused door, so privacy. So a real bathroom in a class B. I don't think I've seen this ever. And but wait, there's still more. Wardrobe. And yet more storage. Well done, coach house. Here's a little bit of curtain for privacy for the doors when they're closed. Anything out here? Oh yeah, a little bit of uh, storage. How do I get out of here without breaking my neck and holding onto this camera? Wah! Sorry about that. <laughs> it's a long drop. Um, spongy, nutty things. Screen door. So if you want some ventilation here, here's your bat batteries. I don't know about the, the electrical setup. We'll have to put that on later. Um, clearly got lithium though. Spongy, stringy things. Just a stunning bathroom though. I am super. Super impressed. Uh, Ed wants to know, standing in the shower with the door closed. Let me go in from the other side. It's really a huge lift. I can't get up there. Hold on, Ed. Hello. Doing a huge live here. Uh, all right, let's step into the bathroom. This is really lovely. Man, I am super impressed. All right, so I got to close the door. This is just for you, Ed. Looks like I'm not the first one. Uh, yeah, it's super doable. It's a little tight. I'm five, let me spin this around. Let's see if we can get the camera to work. Um, it's tight, but it's certainly doable. I'd say better than most bathrooms, f showers for sure. Certainly, um, they have a toilet in the same room. You got plenty of space to do a real shower in a B van. Let me turn this around. My face is really big. Yeah, that is just, I am in shock and awe. This is just so beautiful. Okay, let me jump out Ouch. and grab my, uh... hi there. We just finished up a YouTube live. I'll jump out and get you, unless you want to say hi to the folks. <laughs> hi, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so again, this is just, and so it's open up here. Yeah, if you're into the twin bed thing and you really don't want a wet bath, which is the shower and the toilet in the same room, this has got to be on your list. Let's see what we can find out for the pricing. I am super liking that. So this is, again, Coach House are built in Florida. Sold at Grisani. Uh This is an MSRP of 227. Nobody pays MSRP, just FYI. There's a little bit of an upgrade for the uh, for the uh, textured flooring and the screen doors. 
Uh, again, on the big Mercedes, the TV outside is kind of cool. This is the V for Arriva, 24, which is 24 feet in length, TV, twin bed. Pretty standard stuff out here, got an awning. This is where all the systems live. I'm gonna poke my head into the other color scheme so you can see it. I just, what impresses me so much is they've actually used these extra couple feet to put a real bathroom in. Everybody else puts in more cabinets. Let's take a peek. This is the same model, different color scheme. Oof, I really like the other one better. What do you think? This is really yellow. The same idea, right? Ooh, I really like the other one. Let me know what you think. Arriva. Yeah, I really like the other color scheme. What do you think? All right, let me go back over here. We'll end this. I'm really happy to see this. Hello again. <laughs> Which color scheme do you like better, this one or that one? I like the darker one. The darker one, all right. To each his own, right? <laughs> yeah, this is really stunning. Okay, I'm gonna spin, uh, check out the generator clearance. Ed, for you, I will. Um, Let's see what we can find out down here. Uh, it's pretty typical. I'd say about seven inches. See it right there? So maybe they have a little bit of a hybrid. So you have a generator to produce enough electricity to run the uh, AC. But the, we did see a Battleborn back there, right? So if you want to run on DC mode, we're seeing that hybrid model in more vans, including Coachman. This thing is really beautiful. I'm... Uh, I love it, except the twin beds. I'd be buying this probably, because you got separate living spaces, right? You can have a table set up all the time, right? Oh. And that bathroom, God, you know, I'm a big bathroom guy. It's so beautiful. All right, until we uh, see you at the next, we're gonna do one more live. I'm gonna do it from my van at the show grounds, because I'm leaving here. We've been here since Tuesday morning. Um, just thank each and every one of you for watching these YouTube lives. We're gonna um, treat these a little bit differently as soon as we get out of here. I'm really liking this, I'm telling you. Uh-oh, um, uh-oh. Uh I was looking here, let me maybe splash this quick for you. So this is kind of some of the features and options. This is this one here. So yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty loaded. There's only a few options. The bug screen's weirdly. What do you think? Yeah. Coach House, thanks for doing something different. So nice. Um, if you haven't seen the uh, Best of Show award we gave to the Westphalia this morning, um, yeah, that video is coming up uh, like very, very, very soon. But they actually were the award winner because um, they were really the most inventive. Although if I'd seen this first, I had the bathroom's pretty cool. But the other one's got, I think, more innovation overall, the Westphalia. All right, until we see you soon, we'd like to say peace be with you. Journey on, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.